Good morning, Fire Nation. I'm Nathan Gonzalez. And I'm Shannon O'Laughlin. And we are here with Fenwick Broadcasting to give you the latest in news. In Fenwick Sports, the Friars had a very eventful week over spring break. Boys baseball had a fantastic week going 5-1 and one down in Orlando. They hope to keep the momentum going as they start the second half of their season this week. Also on the diamond, big congrats to softball player Talia Lorenzo, who recorded her 400th career strikeout as a Friar. Finally, this Wednesday was the last National Signing Day for students playing sports in college. Make sure to congratulate the 12 students who will continue their academic and athletic careers in college. Way to go, Friars. Well, in the worlds of clubs and activities, Best Buddies will have their friendship walk at Soldier Field on April 22nd. This event will raise money to support Best Buddy programs of inclusion for people worldwide with intellectual and developmental disabilities. In addition to this, MAV team will compete in the state finals this weekend. Good luck, guys. Over spring break, the Fenwick Band drove down to Orlando, Florida. Over these five days, they visited two of Orlando's main attractions, Walt Disney World and Universal Studios. While in Epcot, the senior band members were given early access to the park and even one of the rides. Also while there, the band got to visit Dis Disney's Imagination Campus and complete an instrumental workshop. Here they were taught the wedding song from The Little Mermaid. The musicians also performed at the waterfront stage in Disney Springs. We are so happy that they got to have such a fun experience and learn some new skills from Disney professionals. That's great to hear Friars being so productive over spring break. Next week, catch Fen Jazz's live concert performance on April 25th at 7 p.m. It will be held at Fitzgerald's Nightclub in Berwyn, Illinois. Let's go Berwynites. Composers and trumpet players Gerald Bailey and McCramey Brass will be there too. Tickets are on sale now. Get yours. See the Family Bulletin for ticket information. Now let's hear from Gael Tafoya. Gael? Hello, Friars. I'm Gael Tafoya from Fenwick Broadcasting here with one of the senior captains on the Fenwick soccer team, Ellie Dvorak. Ellie, how long have you been playing soccer for? I've been playing soccer since third grade. And what has your experience with Fenwick soccer specifically been like? So freshman year uh, was the COVID year, so I didn't get to play, and sophomore year I had a torn ACL. So junior year was my first year playing, and it was amazing. We got fourth in state, and it was a really good team. And this year we uh, got some new people on the team, and everyone's playing great and excited to be there, so it's awesome. Now, I heard that you guys just recently won your body armor tournament. So uh, did you have anything notable to say about, about that? Um. So we had a rough start to the season, so it was our second win, and it was amazing for us. We were all excited to be out there playing together and to get a win and get some goals. It was great. And how did you guys feel after winning? Amazing. Honestly, everyone was so excited and uh, lots of smiles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you for your time. This has been Gael Tafoya with Thunder Broadcasting. Back to studio. Thanks, Gael. Absolutely. Here at Fenwick, we have many talented students, including senior Amber Cloud. Last Saturday, Amber was featured on Saturday Night Live alongside Carol G and 12 others from their top ensemble, handpicked to travel to New York. Amber has been singing since she could talk. Through singing, she has gotten many opportunities, like performing alongside the Eagles, recording a song with Dennis Young, performing on SNL, and traveling across the world. She has also performed at the Civic Opera House with the CSO. We are so proud of you, Amber. Do your friends not laugh at your jokes? Well, if that's the case, you're in luck. A new stand-up comedy club called Comedyplex is aiming for a soft opening in midsummer. Comedyplex is run by three Oak Park residents with well-known comedy backgrounds and are looking to open their club at 1128 Lake Street, a space that has been vacant for seven years. The club is for all ages and offers classes in stand-up comedy that can help people trying to advance their skills in comedy and acting. Before any of this happens, their application must go through our village commissions. And that's all we have for you today. On behalf of Family Broadcasting, I'm Nathan Gonzalez. And I'm Shannon O'Laughlin. And have a great weekend, Friars, and make good choices. Friar, Friar up. up.